use the same sequence, okay? We're going to have a similar x. Okay, so we found it. It goes x, which is through. It's in here. <coughs> so defense now. Okay? The good thing about this position, there's a lot of space here. Okay? So I can start to use it straight away to pump on top. The first thing I do though, if he's trying to heel hook me here, then I slip my heel. Okay, everyone see that? So this is me not slipping my heel. Okay, this is me slipping my heel. You have to get it? Yeah, point my toes and make sure you can't get behind my heel. Okay, <coughs> it's a little bit of um, dexterity in the ankles for us to do that, but we build it up, okay? So I put it here right next to his ribs so it's not going to get it. Especially with Buzz's thick uh, skin, should we say. Like, <laughs> tight That's into, muscle now. <laughs> tight into the muscle on his ribs. <laughs> So look, the way I'm going to escape this, he starts going for the heel hook. The more I make him dig for this, and the more frustrated he gets, the more he reaches underneath. Now I can see his hand on this side. Okay, so I take my C grip here, and I put it underneath. And I go as deep as I can with my wrist. Okay, so even if he gets the, um, the catch on it, I mean he won't get the catch on it, but if he starts trying to pull this up and gets his hands together, he's not going to finish me from here. And I still keep slipping my heel out. Okay, but now from here I can start to come up on top. Okay, I got my foot behind me, drive forward, and I take the hand out. Sometimes you can even keep hold of this. Okay, and submit him afterwards with this, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's say he gets his hand back. As soon as I'm on top, behind the tricep, head and arm here. I guarantee he'll start thinking about bailing to bring his arm to the other side. Like this. Okay, goes back. So bearing that in mind, he tries to do it, and I follow it. Okay, I'm not going to let him off with this. Okay, maybe he's trying to attack my leg still, because my leg is still in danger here. Okay, I compress, sprawl my hips back, and then look, I window wipe my legs to the side, so I leave my knee in, take my ankles to the other side. If he tries to grab my leg now, and pull it through, my ankle's going to hit his, um, his own car. Okay, there's no danger here at all. Now I'm going to drive him onto his back, take my um, S grip, drive in, push my head into his shoulder, Finish the head and arm choke. Okay, let's go from the uh, double outside. So he's got a double outside. I slip the heel first to make sure that I stay safe. As he starts reaching for this, I come behind and catch his wrist. Foot comes behind like in an S mount position. Drive up on top to here, get my foot back. Come underneath to here. Okay, this will stop him now getting his head down towards my leg. He needs it, he goes to my leg again. Look, see all that space he's got there. Drive underneath, open this up if I need to. He tries to get his arm over the top, follow it, head to the floor. Window wipe my leg out to here. And look, sometimes I'll even just put my ankle down. <coughs> if he tries to pull this screw down, there's no way he's getting that leg through. Okay? Head low, drive. Finish the head and arm. This is what I was saying for Brad about punishing the guy, okay? The guy keeps doing this to you, you've got to make him think twice about it. Okay, so every time, look, I can see his back. So he starts going for this, I slip, straight away I'm hand fighting. Okay, once I get this hook here like this, he can he goes to the um, heel hook. It's hard for him now. Punish him for it. Yeah, just smear the guy out, yeah, crush him, shoulder pressure, cross facing. Yeah, don't let the guy like stay in this position. Here, with your legs still there, he's, he's still trying to go for it. Because a good guy will roll you through. Yeah, no, now he's in another position on me. And I can I don't get stuck in these. Okay, so when he's done for his leg here, I can put, keep my heel pulled back, spread him out. Like, even from this, try and get my leg. Half it, yeah? Just cross facing it, keep my leg as far away as possible. Head and arm, get the ankle to the other side. Now I'm safe. Even if he survives it, just turns away from me. Yeah, I've survived it in another position now. It's still good for me. Okay? Let's go with that. So do the whole 